Hey, it's Cheryl from Home of My Making, where I inspire you to create the surrounding you love. Um, wanted to come on this morning, the day after Easter, and show you a cute little um, craft project. So today I'm going to start with some note cards. You get a lot of these note cards. I get them usually at Hobby Lobby, 50% off. They're paper studio brand. They usually have it 50% off on a rotation. So they come in um, black, they come in white, they come in like a uh, cardboard color, you know, um, the brown. So today I'm gonna be using the white ones and I'll show you what I do to make my very own note cards. As you're hopping on here, let me know how your Easter was. Let me know. We had some crazy weather come through here last night. I felt like I was in Kansas this morning. But um, hi Lisa, how are you? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out some of these cards and I'm going to use the white ones because um, I think they're going to look pretty good with what I'm going to do. So the next thing I'm going to do is I use these stencils by a maker studio and this is their alpha, one of their alphabet stencils and this is my favorite um, stencils that they have in their collection for um, alphabets. If you look real close, it's actually like a um, floral design. So it's a monogram, but it's in a floral pattern. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take their gel art ink, which is in Can't Never Could, which is their black, and I'm going to, hey Debbie, Deb, watch this, because you have some of the product. Um, and I'm going to use it. So I'm starting with a, I'm looking for my spreader. I'm starting with a note card and I'm going to, hi Patricia, I'm going to be using, I'll use an H just for the heck of it because I have it out, stencil. So I'm going to put a link to the stencil in the um, comments and then I'll put a link to the uh, gel art ink in the comments too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that in the center of the card and then this gel art ink was formulated for um, fabric. Hi, Lori. Um, but you can use it on wood and paper and whatever. So we usually apply it with a um, spreader. And these come bigger. I just cut them for the surface that I'm using. If I'm using a big surface, I use a big one. If I'm using a little surface, I cut it smaller like I just did. So what you want to do is spread that through the mesh stencil. And these stencils are mesh. They aren't like a Cricut stencil where it's got a hole going through it. So that's why you're able to have all that detail going. So you could usually hear it spread and you don't want to get it off on the paper because if you do, you won't be able to get it off. But it is only paper so you could do it over. So let me show you. And I have a water bath right over here that I put my stencils in. But let me show you the back of this. So it's like a screen print. It doesn't go all the way through. So that's why you're able to get all that detail into that stencil. So put it in there. So this is where I'm at right now. So you could see all the detail, actually goes like that. You could see all the detail of that stencil. So the next thing I'm gonna do, and I have one that I made that I'm going to, oh, I did it in a D. I need, I need, need this to be dry for this next step. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and I did put it in a little container. I get these at the dollar store in case I um, pour some and I don't use it up. I just keep them in here. So I'll take that and I'm gonna take a little paintbrush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dab it on these flowers that I have on here. I don't know if you could see that. You probably can't, but I'm gonna take it and just dab it on the flower part of this stencil going all over it so i hope everybody had a nice easter whatever that means this time of year i did i had a relaxing easter until last night we had a storm come through patricia this is one of my favorite stencils in the maker studio brand oh they have different alphabets but I like this one, and I especially like this one for the project that I'm doing, and I'll show you. So I put it randomly on different um, flowers on there. 
So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that to the side so I don't spill it. I'm going to take a tray and I have this pack of glitter. It's really, really fine. And I did get that at Michael's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of it and I'm actually going to spread it on here. And it's only going to pick up where I put the Mod Podge. So Mod Podge is like glue. That's why I'm using it. I mean, you could use straight white glue for the same thing. So that's what it looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. So what do you think? So what I'm doing is, and what happens is it does have, you can't see it. <coughs> it's allergies. How many times do we say that? Um, you can't tell, but there is a lot of glitter on here because it's really fine. So I take a little brush, mainly when it dries, and get all the excess glitter off of here. So there you go. It's just a little cute note card. So what I do, good morning, Jen. Um, what I do is I usually make a pack of stencil, uh, of cards for, for just to give them out. So like I have some that I already did. Here's a C that I did a green one and a, a blue one in um, a C. Just very dainty, very simple. But what I do is after I get about four or six of them done, the same letter or shape, because there's a lot of different stencils, I take the cards, the, um, the envelopes to them. So if you have four and you got four cards or six, I take them like this and then I just take a piece of twine and make a little pack out of them. And I like to put this as an addition to like gifts when I give them away with their initial on them. Simple, cute, um, handmade little addition to a gift. So I do that and then I take a little scissor and I usually like whatever initial it is, there'll be four. So that's what I do. Very quick, simple. Um, I love this stencil. Again, it's the a Maker Studio brand stencils. I will put the uh, link in it if, um, this is called Alphabet 5, they have different stencils, but this one is good for the um, this project because it's got a lot of detail that you can color in. Now, obviously you could use more than one color, but I wanna show you something about these stencils again. They're like a mesh, so it's got like a screen print in there. So that's why you're able to um, see all that detail. Now, these can be used up to 30, 35 times. Obviously, it'll get stained from the ink, but that's okay. As long as you keep these clean, and by keeping them clean when you're done, you put them in a water bath or run them under a sink so it doesn't clog the mesh. This particular stencil, I don't know if you could see. Let me see if it's better this way. But it's got um, really tiny flowers, leaves, and birds. So I love it. When If you could see it up close on here, like the detail, besides the little color, um, the little color variations that I made, there's a lot of detail. So it's really not as plain as you think, but it's simple. And there you go. So you can make a couple of gift card packs. And when you give out a present, just include that in there with their initial, first initial or last initial. And um, you have a quick, easy little addition to, um, a gift. I also like them like as a little thank you gift. Like you could use it for a um like when you go to someone's house for dinner. Um, you know, instead of buying wine or flowers, make a set of gift cards. Wrap it nice, you know, put it in a little actually this just looks good just the way it is. But um makes a good hostess gift too. So think about out of the box, even for a teacher gift. I mean, how many times, how much teachers do they get stuff they don't use? How much times do we get stuff we don't use? So I think this is a simple gift. I know a lot of people don't mail letters, but I like paper. I do use it. So I think that's a really cute thing. So I will link below um, the stencils and the gel art ink. Um, the gel art ink does come in different colors. I happen to use the black with the... Uh, uh, 
glitter you can change it up this comes in all different colors and you know you can do black and gold um you could do this in black and use the gold that would look nice i just did color ones glitter comes in a lot of colors now this glitter is really fine um it doesn't have big pieces that's kind of what you need if you're going to do this if not you don't have glitter just do it without the glitter because i have done them without the glitter i have done them on black cards with white gel art ink and i've done them on the like the paper bag color with black ink and that looks really cool just by itself no glitter thank you christine hello vicky um so there you go it's a little quick craft that you can add to your repertoire of things um I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter that we um, celebrated it and slowed down a little bit. So I will be back tomorrow with another craft. So if you haven't already liked and followed my page, that is that little thumbs up up there, do so. And um, what happens to the stencil as it gets used 20 to 30 times? Well, if you care for this stencil, Basically, I mean, I, I would imagine, because I haven't used one that many times, I would imagine that the silk screen part would clog up. But it should, um, if you take care of it, the worst thing that would happen to this stencil is you wouldn't be able to press anything through it. So that would be from the silk screen getting clogged. And a lot of times, too, if you don't care for them the right way, that's that would happen. But... I haven't used one stencil 30 times, so I imagine what the process would be is your, um, it would get clogged and then you wouldn't be able to push the product through it. And then um, also sometimes um, people are aggressive with cleaning stencils and it could fray around the cut area and then you wouldn't have a fine stencil pattern. But 30 to 35 times is a lot to use one stencil, um, especially in a pack like this that has all the alphabet. Um, but I would imagine that's what that would happen. Jen asked that question, what happens to the stencil as it gets used 30 times? But uh, So they put a 30, 35 um, mark on it because um, it is like a, a mylar, this is. And it's got a sticky back. So when you do put it on a thing, if you noticed when I put it down, um, a lot of stencils you have to tape. And this one you don't because it's got a sticky back. And that's another thing. I'd imagine the sticky back would eventually unstick. But see, that's on there. So you're not taping down a stencil and trying to pounce through it. That's not how these are. And this is like a little... Um, a piece of paper that they come on and you want to keep that and then just put it back on the stencil backing and after it's washed and dried and um it should be good for that many times so or do you think it may start losing yeah i think it would um wendy that's what i just said but it would take a long time it would take a long time again if you maintain them properly um and that would be, if you've got this stencil pack with the alphabet, that would be a lot of times on each one of them for it to go bad. Because how many times, unless you still use, you just use the one alphabet. But um, yeah, so that would be, I guess, some things that eventually, I've had them for two years, so I have not, um, hi Ann, I have not um, had a problem. I've not used one stencil 35 times, but I've used a lot. A lot of times though but again it's just a matter of how you maintain them so you want to wash them right away dry it upside down sticky side up on a cloth let it dry and then adhere it back to that piece of paper and store them i store mine in let me see i don't know if you can see where am i can you see me i have boxes back there behind i don't know if you can see but when you can't see it now but behind that bin i have file folders and I have mine in there. So they stand up like this in a file folder. Um, some people put them in a binder and with, you know, like that to store theirs, but that's how I store mine. Oh, what did I make, Cindy? So I made gift cards um, or note cards, I should say. So what I did for those of you just hopping on, I took a stencil, an alphabet stencil. I adhered it to a card and then I took some Mod Podge. You gotta go 
back and watch the replay. Mod Podge and some glitter. And then I made a pack of four or six and made it so that you could hand them out as a hostess gift, as a gift in another package with other stuff, or even as a thank you or whatever. So there you go, Cindy. That's what I made. Go ahead and watch the replay. It's cute. Um, so I will adhere, I will um, put the link to the gel art ink and the stencil in the comments. If you have any questions when I get off, just ask me and I'll answer them. If you haven't already liked and followed my page, please do so. I appreciate it. And um, we can't say this word, um, which is also known as sprinkling, by the way. That's why you hear us say sprinkling, but that's what we mean. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you today. Quick and easy. I'm going to be making a lot of them because I like to give them out to my clients and stuff. So uh, there you go. So I will be back tomorrow. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll put the links there. And notifications for when I go live is down there. Just hit that button and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day, guys. Bye.